presented by the JMU Alumni Association. I'm Kurt Dudley with Nikki Newman as we're with our pre-selection show as we're just, oh, about 35 minutes away from ESPN's coverage of the 2015 Women's Basketball Championship Tournament. We'll find out who's going to be in the field. One thing we do know, the Dukes of JMU <laughs> are going once again. Back-to-back -back years for the James Madison Women's Basketball Dukes under head coach Kenny Brooks. Of course, uh, Nikki, two-time defending uh, well, two-time Defensive Player of the Year in the Colonial Athletic Association. But this year, you saw it from a whole new perspective, broadcasting with David Taylor on the JMU Intellos Wireless Broadcast Network. First of all, before we get to the Dukes, what was that experience like for you? Very bittersweet on the other side of things. I got to see a lot of the behind-the-scenes work, how much effort everybody puts into it, and the work that pays off on the long run, winning a CA championship. So that was very exciting. Loved seeing the girls. It made it easier for me because I played with them, so that was a plus, but just a very exciting time. Now, this was uh, a tournament where the Dukes went in, the prohibitive favorite, but it wasn't quite as easy as maybe some of the JMU Nation might thought it would be. Your particular, uh, well, I guess, take on the way this played out for the Dukes in winning this year's championship. They definitely had to fight through some tough games, and everybody's going to give JMU their best chance no matter what. It seems like JMU's gotten that in the past few years, everybody's best effort. And it was just a matter of the Dukes coming out and proving that they are the best team in this conference. They had to fight through a lot of adversity through the entire weekend, a lot of wear and tear on their bodies, three back-to-back -back games. So, I mean, they came out and did what they had to do. Teams wanted to be very physical with the Dukes. And then there was, well, Muff, she took a charge. It was her fifth. It was such a power surge that it turned out the <laughs> lights there at uh, the Showplace Arena. And I was saying that it was good that we were at the spa because everybody's blood pressure was very high as well. If that's what you want to call it. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. But uh, just for the Dukes to overcome that, and uh, it was a physical weekend for the Dukes all in all. It really was, and what a momentum changer right there by Muff Mickens taking that charge. Took five charges in that game itself, a career high. She matched that back in um, December, I believe, against Ohio. But, you know, they, like I said, they had to fight through a lot of adversity, and they did what they needed to do to win the basketball game. How about Jasmine Gwathme being named for the second consecutive year, the most outstanding player of the tournament? And Jazz just came out. Precious was struggling there for a little bit, shooting the basketball. Jazz just took on that mentality, hey, I'm going to do whatever I have to do in order to get my team a championship. And she just came out with a lot of heart, proved herself, I believe. Obviously, she got the MVP of the tournament once again. But she came out and did what she's capable of doing any game, and it just so happened to be the championship game. We're going to find out in a short while just where the Dukes will go. And last year, well, about this time, you were learning where the Dukes would go. And quite frankly, a little disappointment that they were shipped so far away that not many of the JMU Nation could make the trip. We hope they're a lot closer to home this year. I certainly hope so. Just a lot of excitement. Obviously, we're in the tournament. We saw Texas, and we were all, like, kind of looking at each other. Texas, hold on. What are you College talking about? College Station, Texas. Exactly. Yeah, where is that? Not much there besides Texas A&M, I believe. Uh, but likewise, just a very exciting time. I'm sure the girls are very excited right now and hopefully close enough that JMU Nation can travel along with them. You'll have a couple of players that will be seniors for the Dukes, Lady Okafor and Toya Jiggets. What will you say to them as you remember your last game playing for the Dukes? Enjoy every last second of it. Right now, only one guaranteed game left. And just go out, play your heart out, and do what you can do. Try to make some noise in the tournament. But this is also a time. They're going to the NCAA tournament, but they have a time to reflect right now as well. All right, we're going to talk to a lot of the Dukes, including the head coach, Kenny Brooks, coming up after this timeout. You're watching our pre-selection show on Madison HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. Commercial. Commercial. <laughs> I completely what? Hold on. Format. Two, one, two. <laughs> okay. 
Welcome back, everyone, to Matazone HD Sportsnet. Our pre-selection show, as we'll find out just in a short bit, where are you going to pack your bags and where are you going to be heading to? Of course, we're talking to the head coach of the JMU Dukes, the CAA Coach of the Year once again, Kenny Brooks. This has been a special, special season for you, and actually, we keep saying that about a lot of your seasons. And I don't get tired of hearing it, Kurt. So, uh, but it, it was a fantastic year. I'm uh, so proud of these kids. Uh, and what they accomplished all year long. Uh, you know, when I, when I sat home last night, you know, and to be CAA champions for 2015, but to also say that we were 29-3, and three, you know, it's just remarkable that these kids came out, you know, and even after a spectacular year last year, uh, they, they put it all together this year. They came together. They stepped up in different roles uh, in, in the camaraderie. Uh, the chemistry that they, they displayed all year long was fantastic, which enabled us to have a great year. So it's been a wonderful year, uh, but the great thing is we're not done yet, and we're looking forward to the tournament. This will be your fifth NCAA tournament. You've had four bids, one at-large bid. What does it mean to you going to the tournament this year with this team in particular? It means a lot, Nikki. I, I think coming in uh, with the expectations, you know, not understanding or not knowing what we were going to be able to do after we lost the player of the year, the defensive player of the year, uh, a lot of people wanted to doubt us. And these kids came out with a commitment, uh, and they just worked extremely hard, a little bit of a chip on their shoulder uh, with everyone saying that you can't repeat or you can't be as good as you were last year. And they came out, and, and they proved a lot of people wrong. Uh, and the year was so enjoyable because they came together. We didn't have designated roles to start the season, uh, but they came together to form a great basketball team, and they played for each other throughout the whole season. What do you believe this team needs to do in order to be successful in tournament play? Well, I, I think last year's experience uh, is going to bode well for us. You know, last year we went into the tournament. Winning a game uh, just means everything. And when we, we won the game last year, I thought it took us to another level, the confidence level. And as we return next year, uh, this year, we have kids who have had a lot of experience in not only playing an NCAA game, but also winning an NCAA game. So they understand what it takes to win. They have the feeling. They know the feeling of what it means to win a game and stick around for the second round. And I think they, they, they love that taste, and I think it's going to really help us as we prepare this year. I want to put you on the selection committee, all <laughs> right? So you're sitting there in that room with all these other athletic directors and folks that are deciding where these teams are going to go. So, Mr. Brooks, tell us, where would you like to play? At the JMU Convocation Center. Well, of course, we know that. <laughs> um, you, you know, Kurt, um, I, I really don't care other than the fact that I would love to get somewhere where JMU Nation could follow us. Um, you know, I, I don't want to say I want to go to a certain destination. I just want to go somewhere uh, that our fans who have been so loyal to us all year long uh, for, you know, this community, the way they've backed us. Uh, I just want them to be able to experience this thing with us, and hopefully it was within driving distance. But if it's not, you know, we're still happy that we're in the tournament. We're happy that we're CA champions and we're representing the CAA. I want to share a little story. You and I chatted after the semifinal game, and you told me, I don't know if it was in confidence or not, but you said this is just how we planned it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it was, it was, uh, it was a hard-fought battle, you know, all weekend long. And, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people, you know, their, their question to me was, why couldn't you have those easy games like you did all season <laughs> right. long? And, you know, it, it's a different brand of basketball. You go into a foreign uh, territory, you play in a game, you haven't shot on those rims before. Uh, it becomes more of bully ball. But, you know, one of the things I was very proud of is that we relied upon our outside shooting all year long. And when it wasn't falling for us uh, in the tournament, we found a different way to win the basketball game, which means we're very versatile, which means we can do a lot of different things. We don't have to worry about one aspect of our game in order for us to be successful. And, uh, and just like we, we played in the game, uh, Precious didn't have a great game in the championship game. Lady Okafer was sitting beside me for right. most of the game, and we still found a way. Toya Jiggets and Jasmine Guafme, Muff Mickens, uh, Destiny Jones, uh, Dee Dee Griffin, everyone stepped up in their absence and uh, just played a wonderful basketball game. All right, Coach, thank you for joining us. We'll let you uh, mingle with the JMU Nation here at the Convocation Center. And when we come back, we'll start talking to the Dukes, who won the 2015 CAA championship title. We'll be back in just a moment after this timeout on Matazone HD Sportsnet. Virginia Business Systems delivers fast-forward document solutions to help JMU Athletics build the teams they need to win. With over seven offices and over 70 employees in Virginia, we strive to deliver the best in digital document technology. VBS Innovation takes our clients to new levels. But we're not just a proud supporter, we're also a Duke Club member, and we're owned you. by two JMU alums. Go Virginia Business Systems. You get to hold the mic. Gotta hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta hold it. Can you too. do that? Yeah. Yes, you can. You got this. 
My experience with Glenn May was amazing. Our agent was very helpful through the whole process. There was investment into our interest, more so than just trying to quickly get to a sale. You know, he's not only my agent, but my friend. I felt very much like family. <laughs> um, really was very well taken care of and, and very, very pleased with the entire experience. Welcome back, everyone, to Matazone HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. I'm Kurt Dudley with Nikki Newman, and we're joined by the CAA. She was the preseason player of the year. She lived up to the billing, was named the player of the year in the Colonial Athletic Association. Precious Hall, P. Hall, of course, <laughs> uh, we do call her around here. And Precious, uh, the 2014-15 the season, encapsulate it for us, for you. Uh, just how was the season for you? It was a very fun season. Um, we at the beginning of the season we set a lot of goals for this team and i feel like this team carried everyone up every one of the goals that we set out i'm just very proud of each and every one of them you've been to the ncaa tournament before this year you're going as the player of the year what do you want to accomplish um just to get as many wins as we can um just go out play the game that we know how to play and just focus how do you feel like your game this year evolved as compared to maybe your sophomore season what did you become better at doing um I would say just focusing up on everything. Um, having two years under my belt, I have a lot more experience and know what to expect more and know what to expect of my teammates and my coaches. Now, yesterday, the Dukes win the CAA title. I know you're very happy about that. Um, quite obviously, you <coughs> had some struggles yesterday, but can you put us in your mindset when you're having a ball game like that, knowing that you've got some great support personnel all the way around you. Um, still just being confident. Um, my coach, Coach uh, Brooks, was very confident in me. He told me at halftime that he's going to have as much confidence as me and as anyone else, and so are my teammates. But I know my shots weren't falling just to do anything on the other end, like play defense even better, get my teammates involved, and just bring a lot of energy for the game. Did, can you tell us, give us maybe a level of the physicality of this weekend's game, maybe compared to the regular season? It looked like a lot of knees and elbows <laughs> and everything else was flying out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's when they go home. Everybody left it out on the court. Everybody played as hard as they could, and we just went out there and fought. If you could pick somewhere to play, I don't know how much you've looked into it, where would it be? Somewhere close to home? Um, yeah, anywhere that JMU Nation can come and support us. Anywhere close would be fine. All right, P. Hall, Precious Hall out of Florida. Best of luck. Hopefully you. you're staying pretty close to home and the Hope JMU so. Nation can follow you. All right, All right. that's Precious Hall, the CAA Player of the Year. She'll help lead the Dukes into the NCAA tournament. And we're just, oh, maybe 35, 40, maybe a little longer before we find out just where the Dukes will be going. And uh, continue to join us here on Madison HD Sportsnet after this timeout. And Telos wants to give you uh, more for the actually, holidays. Yes. Like two gigs of data and unlimited talk and text for just $25 a month. That's a better value than Verizon and AT&T. And nothing says happy holidays like getting the smartphone you want for zero down. And Telos will even buy oh, yeah. out your contract. It's <laughs> $25, two gigs of data, and unlimited like talk to and do text. Today, huh? Happier yeah, holidays I do, man. Is, is it a cute. More phones, more lines, good, girl. more data. Get Try to, yeah. From I know that one Introducing one. something new from Old Dominion. Our clients have loved our feature rich mobile site for years, and now you can get all that. We'll recalibrate. Hey, we'll recalibrate the after like. this one. Discover listings we'll in new ways. From desktop to mobile, we've got you covered. And one more thing we are the only company in the area to have access to five MLS systems. That means you'll get more listings and info here than anywhere else. Guaranteed. Old Dominion Realty. Now that's what you were looking for. Welcome back, Madison HD Sportsnet, Kurt Dudley and Nikki Newman, and we're with the playmaker of the Dukes of James Madison, Angela Muff Mickens. And uh, first of all, congratulations. Do you realize that you're now the single season leader in assists for a year? Yes, sir, I do. Did, did you set out that as a goal, or was it just something that came quite naturally to you? Yeah, it, just, it came naturally to me. You didn't have to work too hard for it? No, I have a heck of a teammates to do, to do their <laughs> job. You did have some teammates that certainly did uh, fill up the basket this year. They definitely did. You're one of the top point guards in the nation, no question about it. You've, you're in a more prominent role this season. What does that mean to you? How have you taken that on? Um, it means that Coach Brooks trusts me more. You know, he, he put a whole lot of trust in me. The girls trust me. And, you know, as much pressure as it is, I enjoy it. Love every second of it. I must confess that you have kind of changed Coach Brooks' coaching style. 
And the reason I say that is there was one game where we're doing here and we're, we're on Mata Zone and we're coming from a commercial break and there's a camera isolated on you and you're, you're actually with Destiny Jones and you're telling Destiny something very serious. I mean, you could tell and look on your face. And you turn around and the next thing I know, you're in the chorus line. You're dancing with the Duquettes. <laughs> He seems to be okay with that because you're, you kind of get uh, down to business. So tell us a little bit about your, your style of being serious but yet having fun at the same time. Um, it's, it's all about, about having fun in, in whatever we're doing. The girls are always out there. I can't dance either. So, <laughs> and so to come out there and to see them, it just, it just kind of happens. So Toya Jiggis, does she give you any uh, tips or anything? No, I just try to copy her sometime. And okay, okay. That, that can be tough to do, Nikki. <laughs> Sunday won the championship basketball game. You drew five charges in that game. Just what's your mentality behind all of that? Oh, my body hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, I'm small. I'm, I'm real small, so they hit me, and I usually fly. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't mind sacrificing my body for do, the team. Do you see them coming? I mean, because a lot of times I don't think they obviously see you. So how, how – I see you coming most of the time. Take, take us through how you set up to do that. Um, usually I'm in the wrong spot for defense, and – I usually take the charge right there. As oh, long as I take the charge, it. he can't holler at me. All righty. <laughs> charge on the other. So, well, we're calling you Visa because you've taken more than how – many, how many charges does she have now, Devin? 54 charges you've taken this year. You, and, you, and the charge you took yesterday was so powerful it put the power surge oh, no. into the spa and knocked something out the like, lights. Something like it. Yeah, <laughs> very good. What did you do during the, the blackout yesterday? Catch my breath. Catch your breath? Mm -hmm. I was real tired. <laughs> All right, worked very well then. All right, Muff. Well, thank you for joining us here on Matta Zone this afternoon, this evening. Best of luck. Where do you want to go? It doesn't matter. You just want to play? Just want to play. All right, Muff Mickens <laughs> just wants to play and have a few more assists for the Dukes of James Madison. We'll talk to some of those that finish her plays after this timeout on Matta Zone HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. I knew going to JMU would be more about just getting a master's. I just knew that it was the place for me. I feel as though that I'm a part of the institution. You will never meet a stranger. Everyone is always willing to help you out and to help you through your graduate experience here at James Madison University. The graduate school here is a, is a great choice. The education that you receive is top notch. It's one of the best in the country. And from here, from here, everything is possible. Thank you, Kelly Moore, down there on the floor as uh, she's uh, getting the fans here at the JMU Convocation Center ready for the selection show that begins at 7 o'clock on ESPN. We're glad that you're joining us here on Matto's Own HD Sportsnet as we continue our pre-selection show conversations. And now we have Lady. I love to tweet out that was so ladylike when she blocks <laughs> a shot. It's just wonderful. Now we, we must also tell the fans that I guess uh, it was so physical this weekend that uh, you got the voice knocked out of you, right? Uh, well, I guess it's an equal trade-off for how many girls I probably knocked out this weekend as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was certainly a, a physical. Did you anticipate that this weekend's tournament was going to be as physical, particularly with Elon and then yesterday quite naturally with Hofstra? Um, I definitely thought that it was going to be physical because we've played all these teams in the past and I knew that it would probably be even more physical because they were going to be coming after us trying to take our spot. How important is it to have a strong mental game when you have a strong physical game? Um, I guess they're equally as important, I guess, that's what I would say. <laughs> You're a two-time CAA champion on your way to the <laughs> NCAA tournament. How important is it to you to be able to have JMU Nation follow you, hopefully a close destination rather than College Station, Texas? Um, it's very important. We feed off of the energy of JMU Nation. Although we receive their support via social media and um, phone conversations and other ways of support, it's just great seeing purple in the crowd. It gives us that extra boost in energy. 
You were named to the all-conference team this past weekend, also a first-team all-conference player in the conference as well. A lot of the times throughout this season, you've been drawing a lot of attention. What is your focus going into the tournament? Uh, my focus going into the tournament is just to help my team as much as I can to get any win that we can. I know it's going to be harder. Um, it's the end of the season. We played a slew of games. Everybody is beat down, but we're going to dig, and I'm, I'm going to dig. So that's my focus, to dig. Were you aware, uh, Nikki mentioned your all-conference honors, but were you aware about the, the Dean Ehlers Award and, and what that means to be a JMU Duke and to, to win that award? Um, I was aware that, um, that I was nominated for the award. However, I wasn't aware that I was actually going to be selected for it. So it was definitely special. I, I know your mother is very proud, uh, <laughs> not only because I was tweeting out about your, your, your Dean Ehlers Award and, and uh, your all-conference honors, and she said, Kurt, don't forget the all-academic honors. <laughs> you have put in tremendous, tremendous schoolwork as well. And, and obviously, it's, that is equally, if not more important to you than playing basketball. Um, they're definitely equal, but sometimes one might take precedent over the other, but I always make it up in the end. I'm, I'm definitely committed fully to both until I graduate. Your thoughts uh, as we sit here and watch this? A little anxious? Um, not really. I'm, I'm comfortable. She's comfortable because she knows she's going to get to That's play again. That's a good thing. <laughs> Very good. All right. There you go. Thank you. And we'll be back with more as we'll talk to a couple of other Dukes before our selection show here on Matazone HD Sportsnet. Instead of asking yourself, where did those four years go? Think about where the next 40 will take you. Be involved at Madison. Dukes from day one, alumni for life. Visit the James Madison University Bookstore. Your source for all things JMU. Get your official Duke gear. Open after every football game. The JMU Bookstore. Support the team. Welcome back. We've got the Dancing Duke with us right here. Yeah, Toya Jiggett, so one of the JMU seniors out of Norfolk, Virginia, as uh, the Dukes winning the CA championship yesterday. This was a physical ball game yesterday against the, the, Pride, of Hofstra, uh, the Pride of Hofstra there, Toya. And I think uh, you took it right to him physically, did you not? <laughs> yes, I did. Surely <laughs> did. And I feel every bit of it today. <laughs> yeah, that tell us, it, it, Coach Brooks has talked to many of us about um, you paying, uh, playing with pain this year. Can you explain a little bit about uh, what you're really going through from a physical standpoint? Well, I've had like three surgeries on my knees, but they wanted me to stop, but I love the game too much. So I just kept on going and did whatever it took to get my team to where we needed to be. You've been with the team the longest, always the life of the party, keeping things loose. What is your goal going into the tournament? Just to keep that up, make sure everybody's even keeled, having fun. Um, to find some new dance moves <laughs> to show off for everybody and but get us hype. That's good because Angela can then follow you up because she said she just follows your dance moves. <laughs> yeah, I teach her some of my moves sometimes. I'm trying to copy you out there. I can't give her all my moves. <laughs> yeah, you know, one of the greatest one of the moves that I really love of your game is your mid-range jumper. Um, did you bring that to Madison? I can't quite recall. Is it something that you worked on? Well, Coach Brooks helped me out a little bit. Um, it was a little <laughs> rocky at times, but he worked hard to get me where I needed to be so I could perfect it. You, is that, what's your favorite play? What do you like to do out on the floor? Um, let me see. I like when I got a big post, post player on me and I do a little shimmy on him. <laughs> then a step back and hit that little jumper with something slight. Okay, and then David, David Taylor just. Oh, we talk about it there you go. all the time, absolutely. But it, it is. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful shot. Uh, where would you like to play? Do, do you have any feel for it? Um, Maryland. Maryland. That would yeah. be nice. I, I think uh, I think many revenge. of the Jamie Nation wouldn't I think mind Jamie that. Jamie Nation would be happy with that. Yes. Yeah, very good. 
And uh, congratulations once again on a great career. What is what is playing for the Dukes meant for you? Um, it meant a lot. It changed me in more ways than one that I'm thankful for, and I wouldn't change any of it. All right. Well, we certainly are glad that you came from Norfolk, a former Lake Taylor Titan, one of my old <laughs> rivals. Yes. But uh, glad that you joined us here at the Dukes, and you're going to be an alumnus, alumni pretty soon. But uh, yeah, we're glad to have here. you here. All right. Oh, very good. <laughs> All right, we'll take another time out. we got Jazz Gwathman to talk to before we wrap things up here on Madison. Unlimited talk and text for just $25 a month. That's a better value than Verizon and AT&T. And nothing says happy holidays like getting the smartphone you want for zero down. And Telos will even buy out your contract. It's $25, two gigs of data, and unlimited talk and text. Happier holidays from Intelos. More phones, more lines, more data. Get more for the holidays from Intelos. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> we know we're back up. We're just having fun here with uh, Jasmine Gwathmi. Uh, yeah, I called her hair a mop. Actually, no, no, no. That's we called her a mop. Funny. She is the MOP, the mop, the the most outstanding see, player. Out yeah, there see there? <laughs> there you go. See, They're it's Bert, it. mop. No, Anything we know. Goes. We love you, Jazz. Anything we goes. love you, Jazz. No. <laughs> Jasmine Gwathmi joins us now, our, our final. She asked why she goes last because, well, she was the mop. <laughs> so congratulations. Well, you took over the game here yesterday. Yeah. Can we just call it the MOP? The MOP? Oh, we'll do yeah. that. Okay, the MOP. <laughs> the Jazz MOP. That's cool. Jazz MOP. <laughs> We're good with that. <laughs> Two-time MOP of the tournament the last two years. What does it mean to you, not only that, but what's your focus going into the tournament with those honors? Just coming in with the same mentality. Just work hard for 40 minutes plus did you see the rim a lot better yesterday than maybe some other games because it seemed like to me you were getting to the ball at times that it's like all of a sudden boom you were there I mean I, I had like the mentality just go get it no, it doesn't matter who's in my way I'm just gonna try to get it with two hands you've had the experience before of going to the NCAA tournament the physicality this week this weekend you experienced a little bit how much of a difference is it in NCAA tournament play um, one, we're going to be in somebody's home arena, <laughs> so there's going to be a lot more fans um, rooting against us. But even then, it's it's overwhelming, like having like the floor shake when people are yelling. I mean, last year when we were at Texas A&M, I thought their crowd was awesome, even though we, we may have been down like five or ten. But like I felt like, oh wow, this is what it's like to play in a big school arena. So. And I know you're a big fan of the pep band. How important is it that they get to travel with you? I love my pep band. <laughs> I think everybody does. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it's really important um, just having them with us. We were really upset when they left us during Christmas, you know. Wow. <laughs> and then they came back. We're like, never leave us again. So hopefully they'll get to travel with us uh, this time, wherever they're going to send us. Hopefully it's not far. But it's going to be a real big advantage if they do come with us. All right, Jasmine Gwathmi, the most value, outstanding player, the MOP. MOP. Okay. And uh, we, we'll get her in the postseason one more time this year, and we'll look uh, a little further into the future as well. Congrats there. Thank you. And she's a great photo bomber on top of all that. <laughs> all right, before we let her go, uh, the Dukes, if they do go to College Park, tickets will be available immediately after tonight's show. If the Dukes are traveling to any other location, we anticipate having tickets available for you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. You can always purchase your tickets online at jmusports.com, in person here at the JMU Convocation Center, or you can call 568-DUKE. That's 540-568-3853. All right, Jazz, thank you very much. Head on down there with your teammates and the uh, JMU Nation. Let's see where you're going to go as the ESPN show comes up in just about six minutes and we'll find out where the Dukes are going to travel to face in, and who they're going to face in the NCAA tournament. For Nikki Newman, I'm Kurt Dudley. Thank you for joining us here on Madison HD Sportsnet, presented to you by the JMU Alumni Association.
I knew going to JMU would be more about just getting a master's. I just knew that it was the place for me. I feel as though that I'm a part of the institution. You will never meet a stranger. Everyone is always willing to help you out and to help you through your graduate experience here at James Madison University. The graduate school here is a, is a great choice. The education that you receive is top notch. It's one of the best in the country. And from here, from here, everything is possible. Instead of asking yourself, where did those four years go? Think about where the next 40 will take you. Be involved at Madison. Dukes from day one, alumni for life.